Hi guys, it's Erin with Red Carpet Report and tonight we are at the 2012 Do Something Awards here in beautiful Santa Monica on the blue carpet celebrating not only celebrities but folks just like you who are giving back. And I'm Erin with Red Your Carpet. So Thank you, so is yours. Thank you. Yours is just done up. I, is that I your actually, hair color? It's, it's not. I, oh, it looks it's out of a box. She just called, yeah, she just called yeah, me out. Yeah. Oh, well, it's just like amazing. Sorry. It's real right now. It's on there, right? Exactly. So, so. Exactly. Just well, like all my hair is real. <laughs> well, you look beautiful tonight. Thank you so much. And I hear that you are jumping out of planes for charity? Yes, I did. I jumped 18,000 feet, the highest jump in North America yesterday. No big deal. And you're here tonight? No big deal. You're not <laughs> even wimbling. Honestly, I'm. my life has changed. I am, if anything, just 10 times just... I, I don't know. More grateful. More grateful and inspired and just... So you can pretty much do yeah, anything. I don't know the exact words I'm looking for because that's how the jump was. When, that, when, they, when I finished, they were like, so what do you feel? And I'm like, I, for the first time, I was like, uh, um, didn't have words. It was the most indescribable experience. And um, we did it for um, sex trafficking, a, a, a campaign called 18 for 18, 18,000 feet on August 18th. Um, we raised over $70,000. Project Rescue, Friends for Mankind, it's, um, we're benefiting the Somali Mom Foundation. I'm a huge fan of Somali Mom herself. Um, she was a victim of sex trafficking and now she, she started one of the biggest sex trafficking organizations in the world. And um, yeah, I just did it for those girls. I wanted to be able to endure that freeing, amazing, indescribable experience for them. So I was like crying on my way down, thinking of everything when we were like floating. I'm like, only I would be crying right now, but it was just, just that initial jump was the most freeing, indescribable experience of mine. So you had to have tweeted this, right? I did. I even have the most embarrassing pictures that I've been feeding and tweeting. And, um, oh my gosh, seriously. They're so what are your followers saying about it? They, they're just, I think they're kind of in awe of the fact that I actually did it. And I think that they kind of, some of them kind of want to do it now. They're like, oh, I kind of want to do that. That looks cool. If she could do it, I could do it. So hopefully I inspire them to try it out because I honestly suggest everybody doing it at least once in their lifetime, whether you're afraid of heights or not. My instructor said he was afraid of heights and got over it by jumping out of that plane. So, and now he's been doing it for like seven years. So, um, yeah, it was amazing. It was, um, the 18 for 18 was camp was, uh, campaign was founded by Serena Swan and her and Shay Mitchell from Pretty Little Liars, they put on the, um, they hosted the event and the campaign and um, Annalyn McCord jumped, Renee Olsted, one of my good friends jumped, I jumped, um, Hill Harper jumped, Oliver Trevina jumped, trying to think of everybody. There was a big group of us. Well, well, we can't ever say that we don't like you on screen and off at this point. So tell us a little bit about what's coming up for you, what's happening, some of the new stuff. Um, actually, something really fun is happening that's never happened yet. I have a cartoon coming out for Disney, I'm pretty sure next month, and um, I haven't got the exact date yet. It's called Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja, and I play Heidi, and I'm so excited to see my voice in a character, opposed to just seeing like myself on the screen. I can't, it's gonna be very surreal that seeing like an animated version of not me, but of my, my some, an animated thing with my voice in it. So that's coming out. Um, working on music. I'm the youth ambassador now to Buddha Bullying. So hopefully going to be speaking out at a lot more events for that. Um, I'm looking forward to getting involved with a lot more of sex trafficking um, campaigns and organizations, anti-sex trafficking organizations. And, um, you know, I just finished a film called uh, Take a Chance. We have some pickups coming up soon. That was very exciting. I got to play like a ninja martial artist and I believe that sitting in front of you right now thank you you look very uh, ninja-esque um, so that would be yeah that was like really embarrassing I don't do not know why I did that and why this made me a ninja but um, that was really fun. eloquent one okay that's good that's what I'll be the eloquent ninja well you look beautiful tonight what are you most looking forward to um honestly last year I was at the do something awards and the stories inspired me so much I wore waterproof mascara today because I know myself and I know that I could cry over like one of those dog commercials pet adoptions so I will be crying this whole entire award show I just look forward to hearing the stories um, I've been saying Sophia Bush is one of my favorite celebrities I'm just such a fan of her she's just such an admirable person and um, I'm really excited to see her and I have a feeling she'll be presenting or something because she did last year and she's such a big activist in this community so um, I'm excited to see her. I'm excited to, you know, see some performances. I heard Flo Rida's performing. Um, yeah, just all of it. Just want to take it all in. Take it all in. After an amazing weekend, you get to end it on this note. Oh, my gosh. On World Humanitarian Day. I love it. Well, enjoy your time. It's great talking to you. And have a great time. Thanks.